Are we? Did you post the the A Z one, or is this? Should we go fifty six? I, I posted the audio. So. So fifty. This is fifty eight. Check, 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 check. One, check. two, one, two. Uno, dos, tres, Am cuatro. I reading? Cinco. Yes, Cinco, sir. Seis. Me llamo Davis. Me llamo Me Lil Pedro. Pedro. Me llamo Pedro. I think. Yeah. Gucci gang. Oh, where is this shit? Uh, hold on. I think it's, let me see. Are you fluent in Hmm? Hmm? Hell yeah, bro. He can speak Hindi. Yeah. As Bhai, uh, me college me Arian Khan mera neighbor tha. Oh no way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you go to? S- no. Oh yeah, I went to SC. Wait, are you uh, Indian? Yeah. You know that? Are you uh, Indian? <laughs> no, I didn't know he's that. He's not a Indian. He's Indian. Oh, I guess it's the same thing. Christian. Bro, <laughs> can you bring me some tikka masala? <laughs> Oh, it hurts to laugh. Dude, like uh, dude that is again. dope, man. It's a I, good accent. You know what? I want to learn how to do an accent for for a character. Just something something that doesn't fit. Yeah. Uh, back when I met him, nah. I got into a fist fight with his friend Robin. Do you know Robin? Did you meet Robin? It's like his right hand man. Oh yeah, that's Fuck that fool. Trying to be in Indian movies or something? <laughs> Bollywood star? Shah Rukh Khan. The legend. I don't think he's around, bro. He's back daddy's Daddy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably. All right. Are we? Do we need headphones? I don't, I don't think we need them. All right. Let me know. How, do you like the setup? I mean, this setup, honestly, is great for least amount of work, and to cut it, it's going to be the easiest. Okay, bet. Fuck it. Yeah. Welcome back to the Davidge's Damn Podcast. It's your boy, Davidge. It's in the title of the podcast. Uh, episode 58. I'm here with co-host Christian Yee. Happy to be back, as always. Yeah, bro. It's been a minute. We got a it's big audience. It's always been a minute. Big audience. It's like 100 and people in this crowd. It's crazy. I Holy know, shit. man. I'm getting kind of stage fright. Nah, you're you're good at this shit, bro. Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. That's nice. I was I've been watching a lot of our episodes and like looking at the progression of both of us, and I think while it's not like significant, I think we are getting like a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I think we've improved a ton. You know, I think not just not just our presence, but our production, everything. Yeah. Getting more organized. I think it's only gonna get better. Just like like anything. Good takes time. So yeah, yeah. I, I think a lot of the podcasts that like at least inspire me or that motivate me to want to do a podcast mm-hmm. like really took off after like episode 100, 150, 200. Yeah, so yeah. I think yeah. we just got to keep. Yeah, you got to keep doing it. So I gotta ask you though. Yeah. This year has been like, you traveled so much. You know, like, <sighs> is that is that is that continue until the no, end I'm of done. the year? You're done. You're done. I'm actually done. I uh, I just got back from Portugal yeah. two days ago, and uh, beautiful place. Went to Lisbon, yeah. and I was just kind of like recapping on the flight of like where I've been this year and just all the shit I've seen. Yeah. And while it's incredible, yeah, and it was my goal this year to like travel, I think I'm just ready to relax just chill. and enjoy LA. Maybe do Miami, New York for Art Basel and then just to chill in yeah, New York. But dude, I feel like Art Basel just happened. It's already been a year it's since year. the last one. Last time I was there, I took uh, yeah. Sugar Baby. Right, that's right. Yeah. That's that's when I remember. That, it's been a year? It's been a year. Dude, the time is cr- <laughs> it's crazy, man. They yeah. need to slow down. Pretty soon we're going to be grandpas, dude. It's kind of crazy. It's really crazy. Like, what the hell, man? Not to, like, get too deep or whatever, but I've been thinking a lot about, like, my mortality you know, recently, especially with Dude. all the deaths that have been occurring in, mm. in the in the world. What have you uh what have you learned or what have you come to the conclusion? I I just I don't Well we went when we went to Arizona I had a really good conversation with Fraser. Sure. And we were talking about mortality and like he made me realize like I don't know if I necessarily need to live like a super long life. And I think you said this before yeah. too. 
Yeah. But just like an impactful, fun life that, you know. Yeah. And like the length of my life is really, I don't, I could care less. I just want to like live a, like a full fulfilled life. I could be, you know, 40, it could be 80, yeah. who knows. But if I'm hooked up to tubes in the, in the, in the, you know, hospice and, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to like, do that. I don't want to yeah. live like that. It have to be a burden to like, I guess your kids at that point, you know, or yeah. whoever. I don't want to live like that. I'd rather just go out. Just go out. Yeah. And he was saying, yeah, we just had a conversation. Um, Black Panther. The movie. Yeah. You know, the Chad Boswick. You yeah. know, he's he died. dead. He yeah. died like a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Did he died know? of, uh, what was it? Yeah. Cancer. Cancer. Did you know that he yeah. was sick? I don't know he was sick. Yeah, no one knew. He kept apparently he kept that shit just uh, secret and just like. And then we were talking about it. Like he really went out on top. Like he went out as the man. Like yeah, yeah. Like, but that's another crazy thing. Is like I've been thinking when I say I've been thinking about mortality. I've been thinking about like these significant figures. Like we'll talk about it. But take off Aaron Carter, Virgil Abloh, Chad, like Chadwick or whatever. All these people that have died. It's like they are at the peak of their success of impact and it's like do people even yeah. care do people even like when's i haven't even thought about chadwick or chad chad or boswick for, i think sorry yeah is chad. That how you say it chad boswick chadwick boseman it's <laughs> a great name but chadwick like, boseman for the record it's like do people really care and then my other thought on it is like he made such a massive impact probably on people who love the movie so yeah. it's like he left his yeah, I think I people care, but man, like, when you're dead, you're dead. That's like, you close that chapter. People, people, you allow people time to mourn, and then you're just, you're just a part of history, man. Like, like it's so crazy. Yeah, man. like, I don't know. <clears throat> For a long time, I felt like, not to get all, like, crazy philosophical or, like, r- religious, but I, I, I really just thought after you die, you go in the ground and that's it. Mm-hmm. And you just get recycled back into the earth like uh like anything else. But I heard a, I heard people talking about like, "Oh, when I die, I'm going to end up as a reincarnated fucking bug or something." I believe in that shit. <laughs> Reincarnation? Yeah. Like my mom, she always says she that. She used to be a butterfly when she comes back. Yeah, bro. yeah. She's, she she's, yeah. She definitely will be. But or she like she always yeah. tells me that or she used to say that our first dog, Sophie, reminded her of her grandma and she thought that that dog was like her grandma in the dog form or her mom sorry my grandma wow so your mom's mom yeah wow that's interesting. like just the way that she looked at her like when they made eye contact she just like saw yeah 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 you know know what do you want to come back as if you when once you go hopefully it's not for a long long time yeah not for a while hopefully although i've had i've had (laughs) close brushes with death on several occasions um if if i could choose dude i would want to be a little fucking chihuahua and a fallen ass family bro facts long hair chihuahua long hair long hair chihuahua specific (laughs) yeah in, in a in a in a good home yeah, in like the Hamptons or yep. some shit. Yep. Hamptons. Yeah. Yeah. Walking around in some some Birkin. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm like I'm kind of sick. It kind of hurts to laugh. <laughs> yeah, me. I don't know what's happening. Uh, yeah. That's fine. I can see think, that. Yeah, I think that Christian be, the Chihuahua. I think, I think that would be a good life, man. But my hair is kind of like, you know. I think like, I want to be like a, like a, uh, just like an object. I'm not an even object? like a Yeah, like a fucking. Uh, a pen, an like orchid, nice. like an orchid. Uh, an point. orchid, or really? I feel like you could be something more significant. Like a newspaper, you know, like something crazy, yeah, just like no, stupid. I feel like, I feel like you could be like a diamond or something. Oh, damn! There you go. That's deep. Yeah. So I mean, look, like I guess let's just talk about the deaths, bro. Because I, I think in yeah. the last couple of weeks we've had some really fucked up. Yeah. Instances. Yeah, man. That's. We can't. No, that's one thing is we can't escape death. No one can. Yeah. No matter how much money you have, how much protection, how much security. Yeah. How much you can't escape it, man. You can't. So, and so I, I guess for the people that are listening, like you must have seen it already, but take off, rest in peace. Uh, one third of the Migos, Aaron Carter, absolute legend. He had that song. Uh, can't was it? 
uh, candy something. Yeah, Fuck, was, I forgot. How it I, goes. I can't remember, but I he, want candy. That I shit. want candy. Banger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, he. So I got the notification when I was sitting with my sister, and she was like, so like, sh- like like shocked by it. And then I showed her a picture of what Aaron looked like. And she was like, oh my God, like what the fuck? She didn't know that he looked all like- That he was yeah, Like little and peep stuff. and like looked like yeah. fucking all, like half of his face tattooed like that. And, and she just remembered that like teen, teen Aaron Carter. And I think he was struggling really bad though. Yeah, I used to watch his Instagram lives. Like anytime mm-hmm. I pull up, pulled up Instagram, he was the first live that popped up. Yeah. And I'd click on it sometimes and be like, bro, what are you doing? And like I caught myself like judging him. And uh-huh. like, I watched, yeah, um, I think the first time I was like, oh man, this fool's off his shit is on the No Jumper pod. I haven't seen it. Oh, uh, he, yeah, he was, he, he had like illusions of grandeur in his head. Really? Like he really thought like he he lived in like Lancaster man like in yeah. just a, like a normal like suburban home, but he thought he was the shit. He was like I'm the number one off, number one selling. Oh, just like a level of like, delusion. Yeah, he yeah. was real, and I think it was drug induced. Like I think he was struggling really ba- like mentally and just drug. Did they even? They said they found him in his bathtub, bathtub drowned, drowned with. Uh, what are those things that you? <sighs> Like air like cans? The air cans, yeah. It was like, like compression. Dusters? Some shit like that. Or NOS. Might no, have been NOS. Nitrous, nitrous oxide, like the whippets? It, might, it was something to do with like air compression or so like some shit. So did they, do you, do you know, I don't want to put out like false information, false names, yeah. but like, do you know if it was like suicide or if it was overdose? Or I don't think they know yet. Accidental suicide, nothing? I think that, I don't think they know yet. But it sounds very similar to what happened to uh, Whitney Houston. At the uh, Beverly Hilton, just no, found wow. in a bathtub with drowned, I think, because of drugs. Damn, bro, damn, yeah. that's rough. Yeah, and it, did you see the the statement put out by his brother, Nick Carter? Yeah, yeah he said they have like a rough relationship. They have like, yeah, he's like, I always love my brother, but like we have a rough relationship, but he, you know, yeah, that must be rough. Yeah, and then did you know Aaron Carter? He was like. There was a lot of, he was a real, like, there was a lot going on in his head. You know, he's bisexual too. Really? Yeah. I mean, not that that matters or anything like that, but I think. I mean, I just think you think about how tough, like, you know, I don't know if he was out of the closet or not or whatever, but like being bisexual, being like a child star. Yeah. Child star. And then, you know, trying to like live up to that. You know, or live past brother, that expectation. Yeah. Or, or the brother, Dude, is, too, this yeah. Is, yeah, the Backstreet Boys brothers. Yeah, always being in your brother's shadow. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, yeah, that's rough. But I think he also, um, I, f- I forgot where I was going with that. Um, I think the one that really fucked me up, though, was Takeoff from the Migos. And the reason is because he was, I'd say Takeoff was, like, top 15 rappers for me. Like, he... You know, okay, when he's I crazy. think of Migos, yeah. he's the most low-key of them. Yeah. And, and you know they're all family? Yeah, yeah. Quavo uncle, was his yeah, uncle. Yeah, and then cousin. Cousin, <laughs> like, yeah, crazy. It's crazy. What's crazy, though, what I've been thinking about is, so Offset actually left the Migos, so it was just Quavo and Takeoff. Yeah. And they dropped a project called, uh, I forget the name, but it was Quavo and Takeoff. Yeah. And so now that Takeoff, unfortunately, is gone... I'm like, what's gonna happen? Are, are Offset and Quavo gonna now come back as a duo? Is Quavo gonna be a solo star? Like, I think I'm very at this curious. point, dude, the Migos is like, is done. Like, I think they're gonna go solo careers. Yeah, I think so. I mean, dude, they both have like established good solo career paths with their names. They're I all think, great yeah, individually. They're, yeah, yeah, they're sure. they're gonna be good. Actually, Takeoff was the only one that I didn't know as a solo artist. Really. I don't know. Even Quavo would say that Takeoff was the best Migos. Like the best rapper. I think rapper. he was. Oh, really? You know how he got his name? I, he, I read something about it, but tell me. Yeah, he would go into the studio and every time he would do a song, he would get it done in one take. Oh, so wow. So they would call him Take and then Take Off. Got you. So yeah. did you did you hear about like the instance of when it happened? Yeah. So I uh, saw the video and everything. I had landed in Paris. And I opened up, opened up Instagram Paris? in Paris, France to go to Portugal. Oh, got you. Stop. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I saw it and I, I like dropped my phone. I was like, what the fuck? And so I picked it up and then I looked at the video 
And for those of you guys who haven't seen it, I guess Quavo and Takeoff went to a bowling alley in Houston uh, after going to Johnny Dang. Shout out to Johnny Dang, uh, the jeweler. <laughs> I don't Johnny know why I just Dang. shouted him out like Got I the fucking grills, know. Diamond boys. <laughs> He's funny. Uh, yeah, he is funny. They went to Johnny Dang's spot to do some stuff and then went to this bowling alley. And I guess there was a confrontation about basketball or something between Quavo and someone else. And someone threw a punch. And then one of Quavo's homies, uh, who was the A&R for Migos' label, pulled out a gun and shot at somebody. And then apparently somebody shot back. And so I think oh, they're trying to figure shit. out if it was – the A and R's bullet that killed Takeoff, which would mean that his own A and R killed him. Yeah. Or the other dude's bullet. Um, Regardless so of fucked. whose bullet it was, man, it was just a senseless death, man. Yeah. And I, I, I heard that um, Quavo was like taking it upon himself, like, like I'm the reason he's dead, like, which is really sad. That must be a heavy, yeah, heavy weight to burden. Like, um, they just had the funeral though. I heard Justin Bieber Justin was performing. Bieber performing. Is it already over? Yeah, it happened. They oh, uh, wow. they had it also in the metaverse, which is crazy. Like, they did. They did like a digital oh, wow. like, ceremony as well. But yeah, it was like uh, it was like a black and white like ordeal. Really yeah. nice, I'm, you know. It's it's a shame. Yeah. But um, but I think the learning lesson, bro, is like, what you know, is the lesson like? I, what is the lesson that comes out of that? Because. I, I don't think, think it could have been prevented either. Well, maybe if there was, I think it's always, it comes down to like an ego battle, right? It's like, if you just don't argue and you just avoid confrontation and you, you know, if, and I'm not going to say for that instance particularly, mm-hmm. but you know, like I've been in instances where I've been in road rage and all this, you know, shit. And sometimes I get aggressive and it's like, what if that other person has a gun and they, you or know, is more crazy than you. Or is more crazy. Yeah. yeah. And maybe they don't care if they lose their life or they go to jail. So like, don't we can't be putting ourselves at risk just to prove a point right or, i don't even think know? like take off i think he was just collateral damage he he wasn't i don't even think he wasn't he, even in it i don't think yeah he even like was like even in the dispute at all like just, just there stray bullet got shot twice though oh he did twice in yeah. the head too one they said near the neck the head. Yeah, yeah so Damn, but I mean, it was a pretty gruesome video. Like you can hear, you could hear in Quavo's voice, like how desperate he was. He was, like, yeah. And I, I would assume that like he died pretty quick. Like, yeah, it was like, a lot a of blood. traumatic injury like that. Yeah. Yeah. So well, rest in peace to take off, man, and yeah. condolences out to the the Migos family. The Migos, Migos, yeah. Um, I think, yeah. I think, I think it's a it's a bad loss, but I think the Migos will be good. The, yeah. the, the two remainders will, will be yeah. good. I think they'll probably take a break, though. Yeah, we'll see. I don't yeah. know. Anyways, no more, no more, you know, sad no talk. No more death. Yeah. Let's see. So, I mean, what else we got, bro? We got Kanye West. Speaking of rappers, Dude. going fucking we got, crazy. We could, we could talk about Kanye for a minute. Like, He's losing his mind, bro. Kanye, do you do you do you know the story like well? I do. Are you able to like tell us? Yeah, I can tell you. So basically, Kanye, I think is going through, and I love Kanye. I'm a Kanye fan. Yeah. But it seems like he's going through some sort of episode right now where I don't know if he's purposely doing it for relevancy and the PR stunts or whatever. But if he's not, and I actually, regardless, yeah, I think, and I'm gonna kind of steal impulsive thoughts on this because I actually agree with what they were saying but they were saying on the podcast yesterday with Bobby Lee which by the way is a great episode was um, yeah, okay. probably the funniest impulsive I episode love Bobby I've ever Lee, heard bro. I've loved Bobby Lee since Mad TV so the fact that he's like a prominent uh, podcaster did you listen to it I haven't yet but I listened to, to Tiger it. Belly and I listened to Andrew Santino and Bobby Lee's podcast Bad Friends yeah, I, yeah. I was like we need to get an intro like they have. That, that was that one. That, yeah, Bad Friends. Oh, I shit. was like, that's Bobby Lee's podcast. Doesn't he, he co-host it with his ex-girlfriend? That's Tiger Belly. That podcast Belly. is on the way okay. out, unfortunately. Gotcha. But, but it was the funniest podcast they've ever yeah. done. I was dying. Like, it was great. <laughs> but back to Kanye. Um, yeah. Fucking, when you start to, like, make comments, and those comments make groups with certain thoughts or opinions rebel not rebel but like come together in an effort to spread a negative message right like right. the anti-semitic comments Semitic, yeah. whatever against yep. the jews uh-huh. like people were like coming together and doing like not protests but like 
coming together and like with signs that were just completely fucked up, you know, yeah. negative comments. So like, I think at that point is when things need to like, like he needs to really rethink what he's saying. He needs type shit. see, I think he just, he like a lot of people, like when they're talk to the public, they, especially with someone with that much influence, they, they approach it very cautiously. I think he's just too reckless, bro. With his words. I think He's not going to, like, his publicist is not going to be able to, like, hey, you probably shouldn't say that. He's, like, he's going to be like, what the fuck? I'm yeah. going to say what I want. Like, and I think it's really, like, it's damaging him. Like, it's so damaging him. It's not only damaging him. I feel like it's damaging our our progressive to to be more loving to everyone. He's, he's, kind of, he's being compared to, like, Hitler. Yeah. That's bad. Did you see what he said about... Uh Oh, fuck, what's his name? The the uh, he got his he died because the cop put his knee in the oh, neck. Uh, what's his name again? George George Floyd. Floyd. Um, oh, okay. Did you hear what Kanye said about that? He, he said it was because of the drugs. Yeah, but then he apologized for something that he had said. I don't know if it was that or something else. And after he apologized for whatever he would apologize for, he then said, "I know." I quote him: "I know what it feels like to have a knee in my neck." He said that. Yeah. And, and so why, it's like, why is that, why is that bad? Because he's, because of what he said, a about the Floyd family, right? Like he said that he died of fentanyl or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then to make an analogy and say like, he's almost like playing or making a joke about like, not making a joke, but like he's playing off of the George Floyd situation. And he's oh. saying, I know what it feels like. It's like, no, you don't, you didn't die. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I just, Kanye, like, I think, I really think he thinks he's like a, a white, <laughs> a white person. I think he's got uh, racial dysmorphia, bro. I really yeah. do. I truly think he does. I think he looks in the mirror and thinks he's like a rich white man can talk like. He basically is though. He is, but still, dude, like, you gotta like, if you're in a place of, you know, power, you need to like uplift your people or the people you represent like yeah you know so it's like damn but it he got canceled from all his brands speaking of that i don't know if, if this is true or not and i don't know how it works but they say he's not a billionaire anymore because mm -hmm. he got the adidas contract taken right away. right and then oh my sister brought it up there's something with um balenciaga uh balenciaga i think uh canceling kanye right yeah. And then they actually brought Bella or Gigi, one of the Hadid sisters, in as their main ambassador. Oh, now. wow. And there's some sort of bad blood between with Kanye the Hadids and, and, and Kanye. the Hadids. I don't know what it is. We could look into that further. But it's almost like a double slap in the face for Kanye. Like, and then. Um, well, that's what happens when you say that. Yeah, kind that's, of shit, what, that's what happens. But I, like, I don't think he has any active partnerships anymore. Like, any. Yeah. Zero. I, I think he lost Gap, Balenciaga, Gap, and Balenciaga, Adidas. Balenciaga, Adidas. Um, that's, I think that's, those are all the major ones he has. But yeah. they're still keeping all his designs. Are they? They are still. See, it's business uh, first, man. Yeah. They're still keeping all his designs. That's, that's a tough pill to swallow, man. Like, yeah. shit. Like, yeah. you're the creative director. It sucks, man. About that? Wow. I, did you ever watch that Sway in the Morning interview or with Kanye where he's like, How oh, Sway, you ain't got the answer, Sway. You, <laughs> you ain't it? got the answer, Sway. Yes, I have. So I rewatched that when I was in Portugal and I started thinking, I was like, maybe this is the time for Kanye to like, A, he needs to fix his shit, but B, maybe this is when he starts his own, you know. I mean, he has he, easy, he but definitely, like, he definitely, something is going to, Kanye is not the type to like sit down like, quiet you know he's probably gonna take a break and he's gonna come back with something new which is great because he's a creative he's an innovator and i love the guy i hate him but i love the guy like at yeah. the same time i think he's crazy as fuck but like he's also done a lot in the creative space i think also it's like his family situation like fucked him up yeah I think for too. sure like i think Pete Davidson's fucking his bitch man like that's, not anymore that's done that's but done like oh. but like kim has been like i guess like in the midst of all this, I heard she's being really, like, supportive, like, as a family. Really? Like, I mean, like, not romantically, but as, like, a family, like, yo, yeah. this is my kid's dad. Got to make sure that he doesn't get himself 
killed. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. And I, shout yeah. out to Kim for that. Yeah. yeah Do you cool. think, like, Drake could ever get canceled? Fuck yeah. I don't think anyone is... is Cancel proof? Uh, dude, Derek, did you hear... Okay, so this was just random. We're talking about the Kardashians and Drake. Did you hear the rumor that Drake slept with Kris with, Jenner? With Kris Jenner, yeah, yeah. yeah you and I think that? someone said it on a song, and he, he even called out Kris's boyfriend, yeah. Corey Gamble. Or something. Yeah. Crazy. Dude, what do you think about that? You think that's you think that happened? Yeah, I think Drake's fucked probably half the chicks. In Dude, LA, why bro. would he fuck her? She's a grandma. She's like, hot. She's Chris Jenner, bro. She's a business ninja. Yeah. She basically is the reason the Kardashians sure, exist. Sure, but Drake is Drake, dude. Like, he can fuck anyone. Like <laughs> You're right. why would you I just don't get it. Like, okay, yeah. Like If I'm Drake, I'm fucking Chris Jenner, period. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, you're attracted to like power. Yeah, hundred percent. You bro. like guns. You like money. You like CEOs. <laughs> yeah, which is great, man. Like that's that's awesome. But I don't think I'll fuck Chris Jenner, man. Ugh. You're telling me if Chris Jenner was right here, bent over against his table. You wouldn't just no. slide it in. No, no, <laughs> I don't think not her. I mean, I would be like, you can. Put your clothes back on. Like. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, you would definitely fuck her. Shit, I don't. Yeah, anyway, but what else we got on our? Topics? Um, we got the Logan's WWE oh, yeah. match, man. Like, so um, yeah, fucking. He he. Crazy. Let me be the first to say that dude is a star, man. Like that dude Logan? is that dude is a god given entertainer. Like God blessed. Oh, hundred percent. Like, on all levels, man. Dude, the dude is like. He just got into that, and he's more flippy and acrobatic and crazy than any of those guys, really. And he can like do splits, he can fucking not. Not only that, like yeah. when he take when he's getting hit, like dude, he's getting he's full committed. Like yeah, he tore his ACL mid match. I think it's more. I think it's, it's like ACL, ACL meniscus, meniscus, and yeah. like more shit than that. And like yeah, mid dude, fight, and he kept going, which is crazy. I mean. It's like fighters too. They like people you hear all the time break their nose, break their hands, but they're still fighting. MMA break their foot or whatever, break their toes. Yeah, like that's pretty crazy because a knee is so like. If you notice all the shit that he does, he's landing on his knees. Like if you watch that big like Roman, I'm coming, going by. Oh, when he jumps, he off lands the ropes. on his knees. Anytime he's jumping off the rope, he's landing on his knees first. Like Ooh. his knees are are jacked. Like and they said it happened mid fight. Crazy. Mid fight, I don't know how long WWE matches are, but I'm sure he. I'm sure he felt. I think. I think I did see like a clip of him, like a wo- little bit wobbly. wobbly. Like he looked yeah. like he was in pain, but he fought through it. I think all that adrenaline. It's like you're not just gonna. Oh stop. yeah, you don't you're feel it. Keep going. Yeah, you don't feel yeah. it. But, um, and then fucking Jake, Mike, and George came out, and they honestly did a great job too. Like I was very impressed. Mike was the worst. Mike was the worst. Mike but George, was the worst. George, George killed it. He, he was floppy. He as a, fuck. Yeah, he. He, yeah. he slammed. He was with it. Like, Mike. <laughs> yeah, Mike no, is that's, funny. That's bro. cool that they incorporate the whole team. Like, that's that's great for them. Yeah. And I don't know. Dude, I, what do you think, like, money-wise? Like, what, what does that you, WWE do you, do you check Logan, look like? you think Logan is making his contract is, like, Jake's fight contracts? Like, I mean, like, probably not as – I don't know, man. Like, I think he's probably pulling in half a mil. Half a per, mil per event. Half a mil that's cash it? plus probably some sort of equity compensation or something Half or ownership. And what we per don't even fight. know what Jake's coming. Jake, uh, Jake probably made five, ten, twenty million on the fight. But this, Dude, this five actually to 20 did really. That's a big. Spread. I don't know. I think he made yeah. multi, multi millions, but I it actually didn't do so well. Like pay per view yeah. wise. Yeah, yeah. Did you, I? I listened to the Impulsive podcast and he said it was like two hundred thousand uh, pay per views. Two to three hundred thousand. Really he said, well. Yeah, he said the other ones. It's like uh, it was because it was like peak COVID. Nothing was going on. Now, now events are going. Sporting is going. Everything is going. Holidays is, and so it's like. And now he's gonna fight. I think he said in the summertime, like July, August. Once there's nothing really like popping. Who do you think? Who's the next one? Who's the next? It gonna be yeah. <sighs> Dude, man, you know we were at the. You know we were like right next to. Nate Diaz. Yeah, oh, yeah, Nate. So, Nate, for those of you guys who are... Well, they probably already saw But Nate fucking bitch slapped uh, one of Jake's... His spiritual coach, Spiritual coach, coach bro. yeah. Like, wh- why would you go for the, the Dude, spiritual the, the, like, coach, Dude, like, the most, man. like, the most, yeah, zen fool of the camp. It's he looks up. like a... He looks like a like a gangster, though. Like, oh, he looks tad, like, like, 
whole face Lucas and head tatted. Yeah, he looks like a straight gang gang banger. But um, dude, there's something about like. I feel like it's all pre-orchestrated or maybe not like fully, but Nate knew, hey, I got to go fuck with someone yeah. in Jake's camp for... I mean, fuck for, with the spiritual Yeah, guy. Just, just fuck with someone from that camp. So now we have something to talk about. Like, you fucked with my team. like, And if that fight happens... I think it could be Nate Diaz. I think it could be potentially Manny Pacquiao. I think it could what? be Andrew Tate. Yeah, I'm just throwing up I the think ones. An they were saying Andrew Tate for Logan. Logan's not going to do it. He said he would do it. He's not going to do it. You don't he doesn't would. want to bring that much attention to, to Tate to and all Tate. the messages that he's spreading. Yeah. He did say that. He did yeah. say that. So we'll see, man. I don't know. But YouTube there's boxing, some, man, it's, it's some, becoming a real thing. Yeah, there's some good – there's some good um, – interesting matches up in there up in the future so i'm excited i'm excited i'm happy to see that it's got it's gotten to this point and i think it's like dude i think i want to see jake Flo uh, mayweather floyd mayweather jake and floyd yeah i think that would be a crazy see, fight that is cool but that is cool that's a spectacle for sure but they're like it's the same thing like there's such big disparities weight weight like it's just doesn't I think he just for me I wouldn't want to really watch that I actually I wouldn't want to watch that <laughs> for yeah, sure bro, it's for killer. sure I would want to watch that but dude I want to see Jake just like take the like like his professional career like like into that real like professional space it's like stop being the spectacle fighter and be like really like oh he's a top top ranked fighter like maybe Ryan Garcia Jake I think sense. that could happen I think that's a real Real I spoke, possible. so I spoke to, I'll just tell you, I don't I give think, a fuck. Yeah. I spoke to my friend Mo, who does all the content yeah. for Ryan, and yeah. he was telling me on the phone yesterday, literally yesterday, that, like, it's been we, talked about, we, it's been we discussed. We actually talked about Sorry, this Mo. in Arizona, and I said, nah, fuck no, like, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. And then... I think it could happen. And then I, like, really, like, started thinking about it, and then I went and listened to the comments that they're making about, like, each other, and I was like, oh, shit, this sounds like... Sounds like both camps, you know, if they can come to an agreement, could this could be a real thing. Yeah. Like, and there's history there, too. Jake and Ryan have had beef in the past. Like are, are, They're not friends? Or they uh, are friends, I think they're right? friends now, but yeah. they've definitely had some beef. Really? They've trained together. Yeah. I know they trained together because there was – he did that prank a long time ago where it was, like, body shot. and The like, body shot challenge, yeah. And then, yeah, and then it was like, ooh, I'm fucking – broke my ribs. <laughs> Ryan hits hard, bro. I know he hits hard, Fucker but hits I think hard. Jake probably hits harder now. Like Not now? than Ryan. Have you seen Ryan's shots, bro? Dude, it's all about like weight, dude. Jake is a bigger dude. I just think the power, bro. The power that Ryan I think, and the I think speed. There's a good video, dude. You know who you need to look at is Tiafimo Lopez. I've seen him. Yeah. Super talented. Yeah. I fucking love that. He's floor. a beast. I, I think I think he's like, I think uh, he's probably one of the best. I mean, he got he unfortunately lost to George Gambosis, mm -hmm. but like I think his dad is the reason he lost made his head too big really yeah supportive yeah. dad but dude you got to be like real with your with your, you know i want to see tank fight that, i like, think that's... i think tank versus fucking tiafima lopez that is... and haney. i think tank and haney would be a fucking crazy yeah that's fight. that's actually crazy i actually don't know who would win that'd be yeah that would be a fucking i'm trying to I think. actually don't also tiafima lopez and you can you can tie in boxing, right? Yeah, I think that's very rare. No contest. No contest. Yeah. I think that's very 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 uncommon. Um, I think Gervonta would would probably. Gervonta versus Devin Haney, huh? Yeah. That's gonna be. There's gonna be a lot of money in that fight. I think I think they know that that's like the fight of the century. So they probably like need to hold it need, until yeah they need to hold off until like yeah. there's absolutely no options and they can milk it for everything for the it's most worth. Yeah, yeah like yeah, I think there's true. still good uh, matchups to be had before yeah. that happens but that's gonna be a good one yeah let's see there's a lot of politics in boxing I think there's some issues right now with um, Dazen or Dazen or whatever with Dazon Dazon sorry that's how you pronounce it yeah. Dazon and one of the other major like promoters or whatever I think there's like some contract issues right now so it's hard really? to even get a fight 
done according to the people that I've been talking to like yeah yeah but I think the zone is not like they don't put on I don't I don't know what the difference is between the promotions like who like zone does Ryan's fights right yeah. um yeah I don't know that's a I, I don't know too much I'm not too knowledgeable so I'm not gonna speak on it yeah. on that boxing politics but um like what's so like what's the difference between like the zone and Showtime seems like Showtime is a bigger platform obviously. I think it's just different yeah, just different companies. Different Maybe like company. Walmart versus Target type shit. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Damn. Yeah. Let's see. What else we got, brother? Last, I'm going to take this quick second to uh, tell y'all if you made it this far. First off, thank you. But secondly, leave us a review. Subscribe to the podcast. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're, we're really dedicated to this, and I think we're going to be doing episodes for a while. So yeah, definitely. Be nice for y'all to definitely, we definitely support. Gotta, yeah, but um, last thing I have on my thing is, dude, layoffs. A recession Laps, layoffs, this year. Layoffs, tech specifically. Yeah. Dude. What's the news, Christian? Biggest layoff, like, ever, I think, ever in history. Uh, Meta is laying off 11,000 workers. Wow. And these people are like tech. I think tech of all the industries probably has the highest salaries, right? So you just like, it's kind of like crazy. Like you recruit all these high, like cream of the crop, smart people. And then all of a sudden, like you're, you know, whatever, getting paid $200,000 to be a software developer. And then overnight they get an email, Twitter too, laid off. Like, I don't know how many it was. A lot of people. It was like, yeah. Because of Elon. Yeah. And I heard there's a class action lawsuit going on because of that. (laughs) Probably. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. But, like, just to get an email, like, in you your gone. box, just being like, yo, you're, you know, you're part of the layoff. Yeah. There's nothing you could do. I mean, obviously, I'm sure these people are getting severance payments and everything. Yeah. But, like, dude, that's, like, severance payments, like, three months. Like, Yeah. It's, it's crazy. I even heard that they uh, misfired people. So, like, they accidentally got rid of folks and then they emailed them back, like, yo, my bad, you're still here. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like, I feel like that, that that's going to be a big legal problem. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, massive. Oh, my massive legal God. Problem. And do you think Elon even gives a fuck? Do you, did they even say why he fired everyone? Or was there any, like, motive behind, like, I think decision? it's just controlling costs and just trying to restructure the, the organization. Restructure it. Yeah. Just trying well, to. Damn. Damn, man. I, I really wonder what's going to change about about Twitter specifically. And then I don't know, man. I, I'm bullish on Twitter as a platform, but I, I don't know if Elon is going to fuck it up or like what. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah. We don't know. But, dude, can we talk about Meta? Yeah. I got an Oculus Meta Quest 2, bro. I saw your Instagram. What what is bro, that? I was I'm in that I was in that shit. I got addicted to it for 24 hours. Were like, you I in was, the metaverse? I was chilling. I made friends. I went to a John Legend concert. <laughs> I went to a NASCAR. I went to one championship MMA fight and like hung out with people. Like are these real other people that you use are yeah. you also using Oculus? And can you yeah. have conversations with them? Yeah. Like verbal? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, this dude. It's was, here. This dude. The dude, metaverse. Not only that, like, there's different oh, worlds shit. that are created That's by creators. Crazy. Yeah. Like, so there's like, there's like the Horizon made by Meta. That's their metaverse called Horizon made by Meta. Did they just drop this recently? I think it's been around for a minute, but dude, it's I don't think get, they've really pushed it in their marketing though. I don't think so. I think my brother said they lost like seven billion dollars in their eva- evaluation. Really? Because it's just not like I think it's gonna take some more developing and stuff. But um, it's crazy, dude. Like you know how we we're talking about advertising. Mm-hmm. So these creators make these worlds, and then people go and hang out in these worlds. Dude, I saw a fucking Cash App fucking poster on the wall in this dude's world, and he's a creator. He's a cre- he made this like like lounge it was like a bar did you have to pay to get in no you just go sure, in chill. but it's funny because he's got they got rules like community guidelines on the wall he's got his fucking personal cash app paypal so you can donate <laughs> like and then and then on and then you got a fucking cash app ad on the wall i was like what the fuck like this is That's really scary, what advertising dog. is coming to but so wait 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 tell me about your experience so you were in it dude, and then hooked on it for think, 24 hours i then? think it's great i think it's fucking fun but i like i think there's going to be serious side effects like serious isolation of like normal human to human contact like kids like 
like the meta platform, they do a pretty good job of keeping it 18 plus, like all the people in there. Most of the people I talk to in Horizon, the meta, are like tech people, like, oh, I work in tech, oh, I work for meta or whatever. Like, they're all like, you know, smart people. But and then so you you're go, meeting people and then can you actually connect with them from yeah, there into real life? Yeah. So you so can network in the metaverse. You can network. You can network. And uh, my sister was like, yo, my friend, he, he's like a, like, pretends he's a chick. He's a dude, but pretends he's a chick in the metaverse. And he hooks And he like, he up. somehow, but like, not he's... scams, but somehow com makes money somehow by being a girl. And I tried to do that. I'm not going to lie. I tried to do that in the beginning. I, I went in there as a female. And then they were like, yo, <sighs> you're a dude. Your voice is a dude. Like, why? Yeah, is how is he doing it with his voice? There's a voice changer. You can connect it to your computer and run a voice changer through it. As long as you're not taking advantage of like children or some shit. No, like. so that's the thing is children shouldn't be in there. Anytime a children pops up in the meta like app, they like they're like vote to kick this person out and they always get kicked. But there's this another program called VR Chat where it's just a everyone and no matter what age is running around and dude, these kids are buck wild, bro, up in there. Like these kids are like this might be like explicit but like TMI. virtually like fucking in these rooms Whoa. like and these 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 controllers are really fucking good bro like this girl was like trying to be all sexy like in there like wearing like a short like skirt and being like mm, and then dancing around like, so wait this. can you ejaculate like bending up, and i was like what the, the fuck can like, you nut in the metaverse like can you like, i mean you can like humping like that your character is really doing that so and it's like wait, how do it, you see your character though like are you so your it's character, first person or is it but oh, I can't person. see my character. You can see your hands. You can see your feet. You know, look down. But where I was seeing, I wasn't trying to fuck nobody. But I was looking at other people. And there's this girl and this guy, like, hooking up. Like, let's make out. I was like, what the fuck? And then they start, like, hooking up. And then she's making, like, she's, like, moaning. Like, they're fucking. Like, oh. like I was like, what the fuck? Like, this is crazy. And it's like, yeah, it's crazy. And it's like, I don't, there really could be some crazy, like, virtual VR sex. There was one. <laughs> yeah, it, I was just gonna say because I'm sure there must be like a metaverse uh, flashlight where you can like connect. Oh it. my god! And so you, while know. you're fucking in the metaverse, you're actually like you're feeling it physically. So then you actually do nut. I don't fucking know, man. It's like you're right. actually <laughs> like like switching. You're actually conversing with someone else that's real and it's like real time. The sound quality is awesome. That's crazy. The fucking the mic is it's it's great. Like it's crazy. You're it's like like it sounds like we're having conversation like this close. What the fuck? The only thing that took me a minute to get used to is I did get a little like uh, motion sickness, but it went away. Once you get used to it, yeah, it goes away. Like you could be stuck in there like for hours, bro. Like, did you feel less? Uh, like, were you less interested in the real world once you got out of the metaverse, or did it seem... Oh, like, yeah, hell yeah, really? dude. I got, oh, I got fucking addicted fucked. to that shit. I got mad addicted to that. Like, but it's like, what's the it's, difference between that and a video game, right? Like, your video games have been around forever, and we yeah, still... Yeah, I wasn't much of a gamer, but this is... It's just like, it just like goes to show you how far social media has come, bro. Like, like social media is just a, a way for us to connect, right? On a different... on a closer level on a different level like i was talking to people from india i was talking to people from fucking europe i was talking to everywhere and the and it was like these kids these these people were right next to me sitting right next to me like they're like hey come on let's go let's go have a virtual beer together and i'm like what the fuck yeah and i i felt like i met this kid i felt like i was talking to will dude he was explaining to me poker Who's like will? will will poker will your employee. Oh bro. yeah, wait, 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 yeah, my bad. He yeah. he taught he he loved poker like Will loved poker and was telling me how he would yeah. go and gamble all the time. But he was it was like it was like dude, I just had this conversation in real life with a co a colleague, and I'm having the same conversation with you, and you live in Dallas, Texas, like, and it was like that's really cool. Yeah, it was really cool. I think I think there's a lot of, I think it it's gonna develop into something really crazy. Um, they have scary. even a pro one that can read your fucking facial expressions. Like it can, like you lift your eyebrows, you can lift your, you know, smile, frown, whatever, and it reads your facial expressions. And I'm like, whoa, this is actually kind of wild. Like, I'm about to do it. <laughs> like, dude. It's getting serious, Yeah, yo. like, yeah, it's, oh, it's wild. Scary. But it, it's, it's cool. 
but I think it also is like if you think about like it kind of can get scary too. All that unknown shit. It's terrifying, bro. bro. Dude, I really think like like that movie Wall-E, like where everyone is like fat and like I think that's really what it could come to, dude. Like some It's hella scary. Yeah. Speaking of movies, uh have you heard of this movie Bullet Train with Brad no. Pitt? No. You haven't? No. I was talking to some people when I started watching it and then I stopped because I want to watch it with a girl. Like, <laughs> just like, you know. But You don't watch movies, bro. I, this movie looks, re- look it up. It's Brad Pitt uh, and some other crazy people, but it's yeah. like a hilarious comedy action film. Oh. And it's like kind of trippy too. Like there's like trippy elements to it. So okay. if you're a girl in Los Angeles, you want to come over to my movie theater at my house you, and watch you, this. You were, uh, you were this saying movie, like, you know, it's, time, it's time to get a girlfriend, huh? It's cuffing season, boys. It's cold, yeah. It's cold. It's sweater season. You're in a sweater. I'm in a sweater. Yeah. Uh, Is it that time? It's Christmas. It's Thanksgiving. I think it's you time know, to my, fucking... My parents hate me because, like, for, not this year, but for, like, the last couple years, I've been bringing home a different girl every Christmas. And are they, you fucking them, like, next to your parents' bedroom? Like, are they hearing the... It could it probably could have happened a few times, yeah. But like, but they were like, "Yo, you need to cut that shit out. Only bring them home if you're gonna marry this person. We don't care about like." Yeah, but that's not realistic. Fuck yeah, that's that. not realistic. But no, this is this year. I will. I I don't know. I think I'm not trying to get wifed up. I'm taking applications, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I you think got, I'm. I think I'm ready. Taking applications. I'm pretty sure you have like a a Rolodex. <laughs> Which one is gonna? Is on top is I, the question. The one that I thought was on top is no longer on top. I, I'm not going to say nothing. We but won't I, say the names, I, yeah. I, yeah, I won't I keep that secret. But I think I – why is that? What would you do? Were you a shitty person? It's it's more my decision, I think. Oh, that's good, dude. That's, yeah. that's fine. It, it seems – I think she wanted it, but I just – my communication has been so off. Like, <laughs> And I'm just – I'm heads down right now, bro. I just want to, like, you know, do me and, like, box yeah. and, like – that's music. dope, man. Yeah. yeah, that's dope. I need. I'm gonna this week um, go pick up some boxing gear. So I can we got start. sparring after this. We're trying to spar today. Yeah, I'm five. sick, bro. Like I don't. I can't take any more. But I, I do want to spar. Um, yeah, dude. I was fucking went out to dinner with my sister the other day and her friend. Dude, this dude. Like I'm like, oh yeah, let's let's fucking wrestle. And I kept going at him, like, literally just like an oaf, like a drunk, like, just wasn't even grabbing him. This dude wanted to rip my head off, like, every time. And I was like, bro, bro, oh, you're... Like, you're, chill. Yeah, like, you're, like, I'm literally just, like, putting my weight on you. And you're, and this dude was trying to fucking kill me. And I was like, bro, 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 bro stop, stop, stop. And I was like, he's, and I was like, nah, man, like, you clearly have something to prove, bro. Like, I, yeah, like, I'm not trying to fucking, like, you'll fucking slam my head and break my head open, like... I don't like people like Should've that. Should've just fucked him up. Fuck no, dude. That's not self what, defense, brother. No, but I started it. Oh, okay. I was the one like self-defense. being goofy about it, but I was being goofy about it. I'm pretty sure I do it to you all the time. And this we've fool. never wrestled though. Like we've never no. It was like it was like this. Oh, I'm kidding. Ugh. Like that, like, oh, fuck that! Yeah, I would have knocked then, his ass out. Yeah, and then he's like trying to fucking rip my head off, and I'm like, fuck that, man. That's yeah, fucking. But it was it was it was like that. It was like, mm. but. But I do want to go box and stuff. Wait, what's yeah. the what's the plan for the week? When did you get back? I got back Monday. Or wait, is it Wednesday? Today is Wednesday. Yeah, bro. I got back Monday, and then yesterday I was just I was a studio. We made a fucking crazy record. Bro. I heard I heard it. It's, I heard something on the stories. It is. I'm gonna play for you in the car, but six a.m. is gonna get on it. Really? Yeah. Um, Damn. Yizzo, I I don't know if we're gonna. I gotta talk to you, so, but I'm very excited for the song, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta talk about you. Yeah, I gotta talk to you. So, yeah, okay. But well, it's gonna be nice. That's cool, bro. That's fucking sick. Yeah. Six a.m. Yeah. He he actually you weren't here, but he actually invited me to his uh, the Taylor Gang show. When is that? It was last last Did Thursday. You go? No, I didn't go, but it was like oh, Wiz, six a.m. All, all the people on six. his. On that album that Taylor Gang dropped, did a show and yeah, it was like, I didn't I go that. because Uzi we were, was on it, huh? Uzi Vert was on that album. Yeah, but he wasn't there. Yeah, he wasn't there. That was just a feature. But no, we were filming for the Target thing. Um, oh yeah, yeah, which came out really good. Fuck did yeah! You see it? No, I haven't seen it. Yet. Oh, it's good. It's I fuck. To, I gotta do the. Con- I love how we're talking about the show. Yeah, the no, okay, yeah. No, nah, it's fine. No one's gonna listen to this yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> but um. 
what's what do so we're midway through november we're midway through november bro we got dude, we have thanksgiving, thanksgiving. We got Art Basel. If you're coming to Art Basel, it's me. Dude, I, I talked. Fraser's to Lu- coming. I talked to Lulu about it. Um, that solidified my decision to not go. What? If Fraser's going. Fraser's going. I I'm not going. Sorry. I I love you, but like, bro, like I, right now, like your head's I'm down, in a, brother. I'm I'm in a really pivotal moment, and even Arizona was a lot for me, and and I probably brought that upon myself, but like, I gotta really just like, like I do like. Smoking weed though. There's no drugs in it. We're not doing drugs this time. This is a work trip. It's not even drugs, dude. Yeah. Alcohol, going out, yeah, no. going after drinking and going to bed at 7 a.m. for three days straight and then going to the gym, dude. You think yeah. that's easy for me? Like, nah. that shit, hurt. that shit hurts. Arizona my was a send. Like, we, we definitely. That was a sent full that. send. Like, yeah. God damn it. Like, um, full bender. Yeah, that's. And yeah, man, I, I just can't do that. And, and, like Frazier waking up in the morning, pouring them shots of, like I get it. Like he's he's young. He's he he wants to turn up. He wants to have yeah. fun. But like I can't do it, bro. And then like, yeah. dude, hunting for chicks is a full time full time job, job, brother. Bro. That shit is hard as fuck. <laughs> yeah, but Miami. I mean, it's different. not hard you as don't fuck. Really but like gotta, in Miami, it's like you. Just, I know, no, no, I know. I, trust me, I, I'd love to, but right now it's like, goddamn, I, I don't know if I could do it. I but what's the it. what's the plan? I, yeah, I was telling. It's our puzzle, bro. Everyone's Leonardo DiCaprio is gonna be there. Fucking. Did, you went last year. Was, is it that cool? Yeah, it's a great time. Really? It's a great time. If I see the fucking, did you see the banana from last year? That was our puzzle. Yeah. If I see that banana, I'm fucking stepping on that shit. <laughs> Fuck that shit. That is not art. Dude, art is art is a trip. It's not art. Bro. Art is a trip. Like people people pay. Big people, money. yeah, people with, that don't know what to put their money in, put money in that. Like, how does someone like this is kind of like off topic, but hey, look, I'm Indian. <laughs> Dude, I, it hurts I, to laugh. I think I might have like a fucking cancer in my lungs or some shit. Shut the fuck up. It hurts to laugh. Like it, like bro, I have, I, I have something happening. going on. Yeah, like, but it's not. It's just congestion, bro. I just got. I'm just. Why does it hurt to laugh though? You've been smoking a lot of vape. Yeah, this could be an issue. <laughs> no, I think it's. I've been hitting chest, and then me and you. Oh, Maybe it's dude, like that that can happen shit. too. Yeah, I've, 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 but there's like a there's like a muscle pain, and then there's like an internal pain. Like I can usually tell the difference, and then there's a heart pain. It's definitely not heart pain. Dude, I get heart pain. I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> Fuck. Like it hurts when I cough. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude, it hurts when I cough too. It's I think I think there you just have like a cough that's going around like a, a bug, because yeah, I have it too. My brother gave it to me, so I almost I almost canceled today like fully. No, I know, but we did it, dog. I well this, but we canceled shooting. Oh, today. it's fine. I book it at like twelve. Yeah. Or like um. 10. So yeah, but I think I think, I think that's I think, the pot. Think, I think there is a sickness going around. Yeah, yeah, something, something's going on. Yeah. All right, guys, that's the that's the episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Episode fifty eight, Davidge's Den in the books. Subscribe if you made it this far. I I hope I. Can we get? I don't even listen to our podcast, so I don't expect anybody else to. You we, we need to cut that <laughs> shit. That's the wrong attitude. No, I'm just playing. I love the podcast. Yeah. I'm just uh, saying, like, need, I, you no, know. no, no, no. Um, we need we need to figure out. Um, we need to get some sponsors up in here, some fun, we'll get some, some guests, some Lucy's. We'll get we some to, guests. We need to fuck around with some people. We'll get some guests. We, it's, need, it's to, coming. we, need, we need to wild out a little bit more yeah. on the pod. I agree. We need to figure out, we need to figure out like what we, are we a comedy pod? Are we an uh, entertain? Are we, I mean, entertainment pod. Informational are we, pod. Are we a business pod? Or, I think yeah. we'll talk about it more, but. Yeah, we'll figure it out, bro. But we, we're going to get some guests now that I'm back and you're here. We'll yeah. you know, figure it out. Bye. We love you guys. Thank you. <laughs>